Ever dreamed of a place where you can feel the sand between your toes, bask in the sun, and forget about tan lines? Imagine waking up to breathtaking mountain views, then heading to a beach where clothing is optional. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, get ready to have your mind blown, because we're about to take you on a journey to Montenegro, a hidden gem in the Balkans where you can truly let it all hang out. In this video, we'll show you why Montenegro isn't just a beautiful coastal paradise, but also a country that embraces freedom in ways you never thought possible. And stick around until the end for a bonus tip that'll make you want to pack your bags, or not, and start your Montenegrin adventure right away. Before we jump in, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome travel videos. And make sure to watch until the end for a special bonus tip that can make your trip to Montenegro even better. Montenegro is a small country tucked away in the Balkans, but it's quickly becoming a favorite spot for travelers and people looking to move abroad. It's got beautiful beaches on the Adriatic Sea, tall mountains, and lots of history. What makes Montenegro really special is how it mixes a relaxed beach lifestyle with the charm of Eastern Europe. Let's talk about why so many people are falling in love with Montenegro. It sits right on the Adriatic Sea, with Croatia next door and Albania just below. In Montenegro, you can have it all. Lazy days on the beach, exploring old cities with stone walls, and hiking in big, beautiful mountains. Imagine waking up to the sound of waves, spending your day walking through towns that look like they're from a storybook, and watching the sun go down from a mountain. In Montenegro, you can do all of this every day. Now, let's talk about money, because this is where Montenegro really shines. While it's not the cheapest place in Europe, you get a lot for your money here, especially compared to countries in Western Europe. A couple can live comfortably in Montenegro for about 1,500 to 2,000 euros a month, depending on where they live and how they like to spend their money. That's way less than you'd spend in big cities like Paris or London. In Montenegro, your money goes further. You can rent a nice apartment near the beach for 400 to 600 euros a month. Eating out at a local restaurant might cost 10 to 15 euros per person, and you can buy food for a whole week for about 50 euros. Here's something cool. Montenegro is one of the few places in Europe where people from other countries can buy houses without too many rules. So if you fall in love with Montenegro, and you might, you could even make it your new home. You might be wondering, but what about talking to people? Won't it be hard if I don't speak the language? Well, here's some good news. While Montenegrin is the main language, many people in places where tourists go speak English, especially younger folks. In popular towns like Kotor, Budva, and Tivat, you can usually get by just fine with English. But learning a few words in Montenegrin can help a lot. Simple things like Dobardan, Good Day, or Hvala, Thank You, can make locals happy and help you make friends. People in Montenegro are known for being very friendly and often like to chat with visitors about their country. Speaking of the people in Montenegro, get ready to experience a way of life that's all about relaxing and enjoying yourself. There's a saying in Montenegro, polako polako, which means slowly slowly. This tells you a lot about how people live here. Don't be surprised if things move slower than you're used to. It's all part of what makes Montenegro special. This relaxed attitude shows up in how people act, too. When you meet someone new, you usually shake hands firmly and look them in the eye. Don't be surprised if someone you just met invites you for coffee. It's a normal way to get to know people better here. Montenegro might be small, but there are lots of ways to get around. If you're staying near the coast, boats and ferries are a fun way to travel between towns. They give you great views, too. For longer trips, buses connect most big cities and towns. They're cheap and a good way to travel. If you like to go at your own pace, renting a car is a great choice. The roads in Montenegro are usually pretty good, especially near the coast. Driving lets you explore places that are off the beaten path whenever you want. Just be ready for some twisty roads if you go into the mountains. Now, let's talk about some places you really should see in Montenegro. First up is Kotor, a town so special it's on UNESCO's World Heritage List. Kotor is like stepping back in time. It's an old town at the end of a big bay with huge walls that go up the side of a mountain. You can walk through its narrow, winding streets, climb up to the fortress for amazing views, or take a boat ride around the bay. 
which some people call the southernmost fjord in Europe. If you love nature, you have to visit Dermator National Park. This place is a wonderland of mountains, with hiking trails for everyone from beginners to experts. It has beautiful lakes and the Tara Canyon, the deepest canyon in Europe. If you're feeling brave, you can go whitewater rafting on the Tara River. It's super exciting. Beach lovers, don't worry, Montenegro has lots of beautiful beaches, from the busy, party-loving Budva Riviera to the quiet Lustica Peninsula. You're sure to find a perfect spot to relax. And yes, for those who like to sunbathe without any clothes on, there are several beaches where you can do this and nobody will think it's strange. Let's talk about the weather in Montenegro, because it's important to know when planning your trip. Even though Montenegro is small, it has different types of weather in different places. Near the coast, it's like the Mediterranean, hot and dry in summer, and mild in winter. In the mountains, it's different, warm in summer but cold and snowy in winter. The best time to visit depends on what you want to do. If you love the beach and sun, July and August are perfect, but there are lots of other tourists then too. May, June, and September are nice because the weather is warm, but there aren't as many tourists. If you like skiing, go to the mountains between December and March. You can't talk about Montenegro without mentioning the food. It's delicious. Montenegrin food is a mix of Mediterranean and Balkan flavors. Some things you should try are Nijaguski Prusut, a type of ham, kasamak, a dish made with cornmeal, and Cernogorski steak, steak cooked the Montenegrin way. If you love seafood, you'll be very happy on the coast. There's always fresh fish and shellfish on the menu. And don't forget to try the local wine. People have been making wine in Montenegro for over 2,000 years. When you eat out, remember that leaving a tip is nice, even though you don't have to. Usually people leave about 10-15% to if the service was good. Here's something to remember. If someone invites you to eat or drink with them, they usually expect to pay. It's polite to offer to pay for yourself, but don't be surprised if they say no. Now let's talk about what to pack for your trip to Montenegro. If you're coming in summer, bring light clothes that let your skin breathe. Don't forget your swimsuit, sunscreen, and a hat to protect you from the strong sun. If you plan to visit any churches or monasteries, bring some clothes that cover your shoulders and knees. If you're visiting in winter, especially if you're going to the mountains, bring warm clothes you can layer. A good waterproof jacket is a smart idea too. In winter, it can rain on the coast and snow in the mountains. No matter when you visit, bring good walking shoes. Montenegro can be rocky in places, and many of the most beautiful spots are best seen on foot. And now, as we promised, here's our special bonus tip just for you, our loyal viewers who watched until the end. Did you know that Montenegro has a special program called Digital Nomad Montenegro? This program lets people who work online live and work in Montenegro for up to two years. They can enjoy all the great things about this beautiful country while still doing their jobs. With its low cost of living, beautiful scenery, and good internet, Montenegro is becoming a popular place for digital nomads. So if you've ever dreamed of working while looking at the Adriatic Sea or the Montenegrin Mountains, this could be your chance. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing travel videos. Until next time, happy travels, and maybe we'll see you on a clothing-optional beach in Montenegro.